Welcome back to Dao of Twang. I'm Dave. We got a two chord groove here. It's A and D are the chords. Um, both major. Okay. Now they're both triads, meaning um, they only contain roots, thirds, and fifths. Those kinds of bar chords, it's very popular in, in, you know, a lot of styles. Um, even though there's all six strings being used, for example, on this bar chord, they're duplicates of the same note in different octaves. So there's three roots in here. Those are all A. And then there's two fifths. Those are E is the fifth. And then there's a... There's one third in the middle there, right? And that's uh, C sharp. So you have an A major triad. Now, what this lesson's about is, um, so, you know, a little bit about just, you know, a, a, a nice kind of straightforward system for jamming over this with pentatonic stuff. But also we want to throw in some, you know, some colorful notes um, in here and some kind of chord tones and, and, you know, roots, thirds, and fifths, of course, but also some sevenths, and that's what we're going to really map out here for you. And it's kind of cool because you don't need to be playing a jazzy chord or, you know, a fancy chord to be able to use these extensions. An extension just means anything that's in the chord above the, the, the root third and the fifth. Okay, so real quick here, I've got... Um, well, let's warm up just with some triads. Root, third, and fifth. And that's our root, third, and fifth for A. And a root, third, and fifth for D. And then a couple of different positions, maybe like. That's just a nice middle of the guitar strings um, shapes, right? And just to, you know, get the feel of this track, maybe play the chords a couple times around and then start playing those um, triads. Don't worry about matching the rhythm on the track, just play along with it. doing some different rhythmic stuff, you know, just with that right there. Now, I'm going to put these diagrams up here one at a time. The first one is an A7. It's a dominant seventh, okay? I'm treating this progression um, in the intro that I did and everything that I'm showing you as a 5-1. Don't get sidetracked if that doesn't mean that much to you but I'm treating it as the key of D. D major. So the five, the fifth tone of that D major scale, A. And if I build a chord using the notes in that river of D, I'll come up with, if I go every other note, come up with that as our seventh tone. Okay, so this diagram here shows you um, a, uh, a, a full position of that A7 arpeggio. Okay, now Put the track back on. I'm going to throw some A7 stuff in there, and then I'll still just do uh, root third and fifth, you know, triads for the D. And just get back on with the. 
figure out where you're at. So here's the A7. Then I'm just doing a root third and fifth for the uh, D. too fancy right now we add a seventh to our D but count up seven tones in that major scale because this is our one chord this is the namesake this is the key we're in D major so that's going to be our seventh that's a, a, a major seventh it's called right it's not flatted like the other one and there's some theory to you know be applied there but for today we're just gonna you know trust that that's how things work out in a major key like this so our uh, arpeggio for that D major 7 is okay, and there's the diagram for that now you don't have to run up and down the whole you know position of it every time and you know you can do that to practice you know look at the diagram and it's good for your you get your ear acclimated to that but you know get musical with it right away and just use little portions of it and here's what I mean see if you can kind of see how I'm playing little pieces of that diagram there a little bit didn't I only thing I added in there after I went from you know triads to the seventh arpeggios then I started putting in a little of that major pentatonic a little bit of that a you know a pentatonic box stuff and most of it that I did in the intro is these notes I did some in this position but they're the same notes Okay, now out in the uh, practice loop over the, the the jam track at the end, I'll put uh, a pattern or two of the A major pentatonic in there too. Now I know we're in the key of D, so you're thinking, well, why isn't it D? Some of the D stuff would work too, but since the progression starts on A and it really kind of you you know th that that A major pentatonic really overlaps a lot with both chords and just works out um, so that's our program right so take a breath what are we doing here we've got a two chord progression a and d the chords are just triads but we're adding some sevens using these arpeggios um, to get a little more flavor in there and then we're kind of mixing it up with a uh, some A major pentatonic stuff and keeping it simple. Here's what it looks like. I'll start with the pentatonic box.
demonstrate the things that I just talked about there. Let yourself go a little bit at a time, but start off, you know, if you if it's if if the sevens, you know, arpeggios seem like they're a little out of reach at first, just you know, hang in there with some uh 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 triad sequences. Then do some uh, major pentatonic, A major pentatonic, and mix in with that. start adding those sevens in. Take your time, man. When you feel something good, a note that feels good or a bend, Hang out just right there and just keep that going. And you'll, 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 it'll, it'll start, you'll start settling into it. Just one more thing I want to mention real quick about this note right here. The note is C sharp. You can use this one or that uh, higher octave of it there. That's a really good, you know, kind of target tone for this progression because for the A, it's the third. It's right there in that that house, I call it, the house shape. See, there's the four corners, and there's the point of the roof. So it's great over the A, and on the D, it's the... It's the major seven, okay? So that's a really colorful note for that D. It's the one that, that really gets added when you, when you uh, put that in there, the, the arpeggio part. Okay, see if that doesn't really stand out to you. It doesn't have to be fancy or fast. the D, it's a little more tension, isn't it? It's a little, it sounds a little stranger at first, but that's cool. And sometimes you can use it in passing. You know, on the A, you can really kind of land right on there, right on the downbeat. On the D, it kind of wants you to resolve back up to that root, or, but that's cool, right? And uh, those little tensions and things, you'll see, those are, that's some of the buried treasure that we're talking about on the channel a lot. Doesn't matter what level your playing's at, you can always unearth more treasure, <laughs> right? Um, so if you're just kind of starting off with this stuff, this is a good place to start. If all this looks pretty familiar to you, you know, then start looking for your ninths and start, you know, expanding those arpeggios and stuff. But go at a pace and 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 in a, you know. Uh, a material way that makes sense for you where you are right now. Let me know how it goes. I'll talk to you next time.